So I wanted to talk a little bit about my plans for the orchard. Now, um, for those who are not familiar, I actually own five acres of land down the road here. It's actually on the lake. You can see the lake a little bit in the background there. And this this part, this this about a little less than an acre that's cleared, um, it was cleared when I got here. There was a lot of growth like that I managed to chop down, and I ended up installing an orchard. So last fall I put in 27 trees and some of these trees I already had planted in the back of my house in the garden but the rest were ones that I purchased specifically for this. Most of them um, are fruit trees. In the back I have about a dozen different kinds of nut trees too. So I don't know if you can see, I don't know if it shows up in the camera well but you can see the tree guard that I put. So these are in a grid, a three by whatever grid. Nine, I guess it would be if it's 27. <laughs> Math, yay! Um, and they're 20 feet apart. So this is 20 feet, and that's 20 feet, that's 20 feet, etc. So you get the idea. So 20 by 20 foot spacing. Now, I'm intending to keep all these trees, except for maybe the nut trees, to keep pretty darn short. And that's the reason why I put the nut trees way down on the north side. So I'm going to, not all of them, I don't actually, I don't think I bought any, like, official dwarf but I'm going to try to keep them relatively dwarfed through pruning. And that is something that people do. Not something that I've personally experienced, but I know experienced fruit tree growers do do that, so that's what I'm going to try. That's why I've gone with a 20-foot spacing. But 20 feet may actually be a lot if I keep them a very, very small manageable size. So I began to think, well, should I somehow use the space in between them? So one thing I was thinking about is, you know, trying to fit more trees in here and putting one tree sort of in the middle of each square. And then that's still enough room on either side of that tree to run my lawnmower my, down, my riding lawnmower. And that's the most important thing. I want to be able to get that lawn tractor in between the plants. But I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should try putting out the tree there because that might get crowded, a little too crowded. But now I'm considering I may, in this spot, or possibly in a row, start doing berry bushes over here. And this all came about because I got a couple of hazelnut uh, trees, which are really more bushes, from... Uh, edible acres edibleacres.org he's also runs an awesome channel here on youtube so you should definitely check him out edible acres i'll try to remember to put a link in the description below so in any case i don't have a place for them because they're like i realize that the hazelnuts represent a, a sort of space a sort of class class of plant that i haven't made room for now if you'll remember down and back in between my hugo beds are currently where i have my berry bushes so i have blackberries loganberries Blueberries, raspberries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Gooseberries, currants, <laughs> all that good stuff. And they're planted in rows in between, you know, my hugel beds. But I'm running out of room down there too. And I'm wondering if that's not the best place for them long term. I don't want to, some of these plants have moved a hundred times, so I don't want to move them again. So I'll let them grow down there. But in the future, I want to plant more berries because I want to be able to fit as much food on this property as possible. So one thought is, in between this row of trees, since I don't want to put more trees here to possibly crowd out these trees when they get bigger and have to worry about that down the line, I could just put berry bushes and keep them pretty pruned and maintained. And because this is north to south rows, they'll still get plenty of sunlight. I mean, they'll get less once these trees grow up. But again, I'm going to keep these trees mostly short. But I think it would be better having the berry bushes here than actual another row of trees somehow crammed in there. So that's my thought currently. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more thinking about it. i got to put an order in for new berry plants. Um, oh, I totally, sorry, I totally went off on a tangent there. So the hazelnuts inspired this because I didn't have a place for them because the berry bushes are in back. They kind of have a place. But I don't have a place to put, and I am building an orchard for trees. But what about in between? What about big bush plants? For example, hazelnuts... Um, aronia, which I think can get pretty big, but just say aronia, um, Saskatoon berries. Um, what was the other one? Oh, sea buckthorn. Those are all ones that aren't full trees, but they're pretty big bushes, so they don't have a home. So that's what sort of inspired this thought that maybe I should put them in between, like diagonally in these this grouping, because they're big enough, so they kind of fit in an orchard, but small enough that they'll fit in the space between the trees. Again, assuming I keep them maintain some because those plants can get very big so that's my thought on that so um another note on this is 
this pine tree and that pine tree probably have to go because this is on the, the, the south side and it's just blocking too much sun to some of the trees right here. In fact, this, that Asian pear, I believe it's an Asian pear, either that or it's the Bartlett, is right underneath. So <laughs> these trees have to go. So my plan is to come out here, climb that tree and slowly chop it apart. And uh, as you can see over there, that's actually, weirdly enough, this is on the other side of this cleared area is sugar maples. I don't know if these were intentionally planted here long ago or what the deal is, but all these trees right here, nicely spaced, are all sugar maple. So I maybe it was a happy accident, I'm not sure, but um, I'll probably leave this as they are. Which means, you know, some sun will get blocked to the orchard, but I don't, I think when I start clearing some other stuff out, because I think I'm also going to take out some of the trees here too for that afternoon sun, because that is west. So yeah, so, and this will be here at least for a little bit longer. This is actually my housemate's. I'm going to be planting more trees, so I do kind of want to move this because um, my wife was kind enough to order me for my birthday to, or was it Christmas? I guess it was technically for Christmas, to cold-hardy pomegranate trees. So I'm thinking about putting these right here, again, in that 20 by 20 spacing, extend the grid over here, and try to find homes. I don't believe that is a sugar maple, so I'll probably take that down to make room for more trees. But probably what lives over here are, I don't know, might be lesser priority trees because again, they'll be north of the sugar maples, which I have no intention of cutting down. I need to do research to see if topping maple trees affects their ability to produce maple syrup or sap to make maple syrup. Because one thought is I could take all these sugar maples over here and just trim them down so they're not quite as tall and blocking as much sun. So yeah, so just some thoughts on what to do with the orchard. And the plans I have, thank you so much for watching and thank you for joining me on this journey.